Hello everyone, so today we will see about Windows PE, Windows Preboot Execution Environment and there are many more features in Windows PE. The first features is set up our hard drive before installing Windows or install Windows by using apps or script from a network or a local drive and applying image and there are many other functionality that we can achieve through windows p let's see how we can deploy windows p environment so first that we need to download assessment and deployment kit so let us search windows assessment and deployment kit so we need to download and install the adk So we will go for ATK for Windows 10 version. So we have downloaded it for Windows 10. Now let's install it. Now let's click on next. Uh, let it be no. Accept and install. Now let's wait for the installing features to get completed and we will back as soon as these features got installed. So we have again come to the windows assessment and deployment kit so it has been installed. So now we are closing it. Now the second thing that we need to install for this ADK is the add-on. So we will download this Windows P add-on for the ADK version 2004. Let's click on it. Click on save file. So now it has been downloaded in our system. So let's run it. So for this we need two set of files one is the windows adk assessment and deployment kit and another is windows p add-on for this adk now we will install in this the same local path so clicking on next next accept the license agreement so if you want to read just go on it and now we'll click on install so clicking on yes so the features are again getting installed for this add-on file of course now let's wait for this to get complete we will resume back once it's get installed so finally the windows assessment and deployment kit windows pre-installation environment add-ons has been installed now let's uh, proceed with the further steps so let's search for windows assessment okay so we got the deployment and imaging tools environment that we have currently installed let's click on it so on launching this terminal we need to write copy pe so upon copy write, writing copy p and pressing enter it will show how to use this commandlet so amd64 for a 64 bit computer so we can see from here go to this pc and click on properties will 
view all the details so it's a 64 bit operating system that we can see now let us proceed with the next step copy pe then amd and c colon win p this is we are preparing a temporary folder before burning these files to the usb drive so we can see there's an example given so we can write that and press on enter okay so we got encounter that falling processor architecture was not found So we just noticed that we have not typed AMD64 so AMD AMD64 C win P uh, yeah. so these are copying the files into that folder so 153 files have been copied and it was a complete success so next step is to copy these files into the USB drive that is to burn these files into the USB drive. So for this we need to use make WinP media. Before that we need to check. So we need to go to this PC and we can see that our USB drive named as D drive. So let's proceed with it. And if we want to know what we can what are the uses of make WinP, so we can do like that. Make WinP media so these are the examples that we can for UFD stands for flash drive and ISO for the IS image files for this operating system that we can also use so let's proceed with the first one make WinP media then ufd for the flash drive then the working directory that is c colon slash win pe now the destination destination will be d colon that is the usb path that we need to give now we need to press enter So here we get an error that we need to run this with administrator privileges. So we can do like this right click deployment imaging tools and run as administrator. I am also showing that what are the errors that we can encounter and what are the steps to troubleshoot it. So make WinP media. make win p media next the uft next the c our working directory win p next the usb drive path that is a destination so all data on this disk drive d will be lost yes we are ready to proceed so formatting d setting the boot code on D, copying files to D. So this will take some time. So let's pause for a moment. Okay, uh, it got completed. So it was a complete success. Let's go to our USB drive. So we can see all the boot files has been copied here. 
so now it's time for use so let's boot our system to winp i have booted my system to bios now i will boot to usb drive so i will go here and select the uefi sandisk to boot the machine to winp So it's loading. So we can see that our system has booted to WinP. Now we can run all the DOS commands, including we can also run this part. So first, let us run this part. and here we can write list disk see we can run the disk part we can clean the disk we can initialize size the disk and we can run dism command sfc scan now everything so from the disk part we can write select disk 0 now detail disk see we can get all the volume and everything now in the next video we will show how to run the powershell components in windows p yeah thank you everyone and if you like this video please like comment and subscribe thank you for watching